Hello, my name is Ethan Malley, and today we are going to beat New Super Mario Bros. U while only having the acorn suit. The rules are simple. I'm Nico BBQ now, sorry. So, we have to only have the acorn suit. We can't take damage or else we die, and it's probably going to be very crucial. If we do die, we can come back to acorn planes and, you know, get the acorn suit. And we can't use any other power-ups that takes us out of the acorn. I got this. Uh, this challenge video was inspired by Nico BBQ, so enjoy. One slash one is very easy. But if you don't have an acorn and you're not starting off, you can just take it from the waddling and begin your quest. Make sure not to, you know, take damage or else you're screwed. So, it is possible though, so... And it's very easy. One slash two is possible. Just take your time with the piranha plants at the beginning to make sure not to take damage with your acorn because we have to beat it with the acorn. One slash tower is pretty easy and possible. Just don't take damage. One slash three is literally the easiest of them all. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, you can actually have a star without taking out of your acorn because stars don't count. And you can literally plow through all the Monty Moles. <laughs> and by the way, I literally cheesed all this board. I literally stayed at the highest possible point, so it's so easy. One slash four is pretty possible, but guess what? Look at that baby Yoshi sing. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. If you just pay close attention. Pa, pa, pa. One slash castle was possible as well. World two time, two slash one is possible as well, but just watch out for that Koopa over there. Okay, so, so two slash three is really hard, but possible. I took damage here, so I'm going to have to find a way to die, but it's still possible. Two slash tower is possible as well, but guess what? I did a challenge video on this. Well, a second one. Is it possible to beat it with the acorn and without spinning all the screws? And guess what? The screwless challenge is also possible. Two, two, wow, that's a first. Two challenges in one, that's such a first. Two slash four is possible as well. Make sure you take the secret exit that leads us to the secret board. And then after you beat the secret board, it leads us to world five. That's going to be our shortcut. Two slash secret level is one of the most easiest boards ever. I just flew over everything, so pff, that's easy. Okay, it's world five time. Five slash one is our awesome infinite one-up source. So you can get a lot of one-ups here. It's called our infinite one-up source. And the board is really easy and possible with only an acorn. Five slash two is one of the most easiest boards ever. And if you need an acorn, you can stop by here and get one. So I like that. Five slash tower is anxiety for me, but it's still possible. Okay, so five slash ghost house is very easy. And make sure you take the secret exit that leads you to another board. And that other board leads you to world seven. Okay, so here is the board that I hate the, the most. Parabeetle Parade. I hate this board, as you all know, and it's really hard to beat it with only an acorn. I used the Baby Yoshi, but not in the footage I didn't, but still. I used the Baby Yoshi, and that made everything ten times easier. Okay, so it's World 7 time. 7 slash 1 is possible as well, and very easy. 7 slash 3 is possible as well, too. 7 slash Tower is easy and possible. 7 slash ghost house is easy. Make sure you take the secret exit to lead straight to Ludwig's castle. Ludwig's castle is very easy up until the boss fight. The boss fight requires 
very good playing. Like, if you're a skilled player like me, it'll be a bit easy. But if you're a bad player like Jordan, it'll be kind of hard. Like, too, too hard. But still, it's still possible. Seven slash airship is possible as well, too. World eight time. Eight slash one is possible as well, but timing worthy. Eight slash two is really easy and a bit anxiety with the micro Goombas, but it's still possible. Eight slash three is very easy and possible. So, so this has a little problem. I'm not really good at the board. Instead of proving it's possible, we're proving it that it's possible, which means Seath Gaming already did a similar thing. He used Acorn Updrifting, which requires the Acorn Suit, but we all know it's possible to beat this level with an Acorn Suit when he tried beating it for the Low Score Challenge, so you get it? Look at this. Dude, just look at this. Epic Gamer one-sided wall jump. The final battle is easy until Bowser. The first Bowser is really easy, but the second Bowser is pretty hard. But guess what? It's possible! Is it possible to beat New Super Mario Bros. U while only wearing the acorn suit? Yes! Yes, it is! I can't believe it's possible. That's so awesome. I hope you like and subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. Bye!